Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome to Hipster Cafe. And I think we've all seen a hipster cafe, haven't we? Out there in the real world, out in the wild, where people are sitting on bean bags instead of chairs, and they're eating food off of shovels instead of plates, and they're drinking out of, I don't know, plant pots instead of cups or whatever. Surely everyone has seen a hipster cafe, even if they've never been inside one. Well, this game allows us to build our very own hipster cafe, just like the ones we've seen, so we get to sort everything out from the furniture and the decor through to the entertainment and we even get to design the food and drink that we're going to be selling which does sound very good we get to plate up our fancy hipster food and we get to design our coffee and yes it is coffee because you know hipsters so despite the lack of tea i thought we had to have a little look at this it's in early access so what we're looking at here is not the finished version but of course as always there is a link to the steam store page in the video description below if you're interested and we were given a key to this by the developers which is very kind so a huge Huge thank you to them. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's go make ourselves a wonderful hipster cafe. So here we go, and I can very happily confirm that spacebar is pause, which is wonderful stuff. Well done, game. Good job. So welcome to our cafe, which I think we should call the cupboard, but because it is a hipster cafe, we're not going to be spelling cupboard normally. Absolutely not. That will not do at all. We're going to spell it K-U-B-B-A-R-D. So it's still the word cupboard, it's just a bit different and a bit, you know, kind of hipstery, which is what this is all about. So there we go. Welcome to the cupboard. Now, what is going on in the cupboard? The truth is, not very much at all. Look at that. There's a whole great big load of empty space over there. So we've got quite a lot of floor space to work with. There's some fancy kind of lights dotted around the place. We've got ourselves that kind of you know, counter over here where the food is made and prepared and delivered and all that kind of stuff. And then we have a blank menu board over there. So we've got nothing on the menu at all. So there is a little bit of work to do. But yeah, I mean, in a way, is this not quite hipstery? Is this not a very hipstery setup to have this kind of great big cafe with just nothing in? That's a little bit hipster. You, know, you just go and sit on the floor or whatever. But there we go. I think we do need to put some things in here, even though I feel this is quite hipstery. So we'll get some kind of decor in and some tables and chairs and such like. I think the first thing we should do, however, is do some research because there are many, many things that we can research. Hang on. What's that? A customize button. Hang on. This was not in the tutorial, which I have done. The customize button was not there. What does this mean we can do? Um, we can customize shoes. What's that? Floor type. Oh, we can change the floor type. Okay, so it can be that floor type. It can be that floor type. Or it can be that. Oh, it's going to be that floor type. It's absolutely 100% going to be this floor type. Because that is just all over the place and it's wonderful. Okay, can we change the color of the floor type? Yes. We can make it sort of yellowy. Okay, so hang on. Can we decorate the walls? Can we do the walls? Is that the wall? Change wall colour to blue. And we've got sort of-ish geek covered corporate walls and floors going on. Okay, that's very good. I like that. What do these ticky buttons do on here? Uh, oh, hang on. They change the they change the kind of randomness of the floor pattern. Okay, that's good. Then what does that do? That, oh, that also changes the randomness of the floor pattern. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, right. This is very good. I like this. Um... Yeah, there we go. That looks suitably kind of eye-meltingly bonkers. There we go. Uh, right, so that's the floor. That's the walls. What's that? What is that? Furniture primary colour. Okay, let's have the furniture primary colour being... Uh, how about yellow for that one? So yellow. And is that the secondary colour, I assume? Yeah, so furniture secondary colour can be blue. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's very exciting. That was not in the tutorial at all. I would have opened with that had I known. But there we go. So that's the customising done. Oh, and look at that. That looks very good. That looks very, very good. Proper geek cupboard corporate colours on the counter. It looks very, very nice indeed. So there we go. That looks much better. I like it now. It looks a bit better. Oh, I've kind of zoomed out so far. We've gone into a funny kind of view. There we go. That's better. So yeah, let's go and do some research stuff because there is quite a lot of stuff to research in this game. You wouldn't think there would be, but there is quite a lot of stuff. So we can research stuff in the entertainment, equipment, food and drinks categories. So there's quite a lot of things to actually unlock. We start with the first things in each kind of category. So we've got a few basic things going on. So, I mean, in entertainment, we can research things like a barber's shop and an Amazon locker and arcade machines and you know, bicycle repairs. While you're getting your coffee and stuff, you can have your bike repaired. There's loads. Look at that. There's just so many things. And then equipment is all to do with our kind of, you know, sort of behind the bar kind of stuff and how we make our things. There's a test tube area. No idea what that does, but there are many exciting things. Flat grills and hot dog areas and fryers and cold chambers and stuff. And then there's loads of food as well. 
There are so many different food things to unlock. I mean, yeah, getting down to the end here, we've got lobster tails. And of course, the pinnacle of hipsterdom is an avocado. There it is, right at the very end, though. So there is quite a lot of stuff to unlock till you get to the, the most sacred of all the hipster things, the avocado. Um, also, I notice across the top here, there are the different plate types. And there we go, look, a shovel. That's what we said earlier, there's a shovel plate type. But yeah, that's not unlocked, unfortunately. So yeah, our plates are currently just square plates, which is a little bit hipstery. And the shovels make it quite hipstery. And then in terms of drinks, it is all very unfortunately coffee heavy. Look at that. So we've got filter coffee unlocked right now. That goes on to cafe au lait and then latte and then cappuccino and all that kind of stuff. I think for now, let's just stick with the filter coffee. I can't kind of, I can't bring myself to, you know, actually actively go and research different types of coffee. I just can't press that button right now. So I think possibly let's get ourselves a fancy new plate type. Let's move away from square plates. Let's serve all our food on shovels. I mean, what comes up after that? Dog bowls, skateboards, kidney bowls, which is very unpleasant. Um, a block bowl. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, it's like made out of Lego. It's made out of Lego or, or some other kind of you know, building block toy. Others are available. Okay, that's quite nice. A handbag and a urinal or a urinal, depending on how you want to pronounce it and where you are in the world. But I mean, that's... That's a little bit kind of grim, isn't it? I like the idea of a handbag. That's quite good. Eating your food out of a handbag is... Uh, that's very hipster. Okay, there are many things. But yeah, I think let's get the shovel unlocked. Because that's very hipstery, isn't it? Eating off something that's not a proper plate. Eating off a shovel. That's proper hipster. So there we go. That can sort of yeah, be our first research item. And I think our person does go and do some research. I think possibly... We might want to get another staff member in as well. So can we see who we've got? I think we go to money for the staff, don't we? So hang on, where is it? Hire and manage staff. Okay, so who do we have right now? The one person we have is the wonderfully named Kai Elvis Wolfredson, who is okay at ordering, pretty sort of pretty good at cooking and serving, not very good at shoeing. Don't quite know what that is, um, and not great at research either. So I think maybe we get a new person on board as well. So who is going to be quite good? Ah, right, okay. You're not very good at serving at all. Flannery Delilah Somber Mood. <laughs> That's a good name. Oh, you look amazing as well. Okay. Uh, Belladonna Nightshade. Uh, Billington Boone. Oh, look at that. Boone is very good at cooking and researching. Okay, that could be quite helpful. Maybe we hire you. A salary of $203, but I think we might get you. I mean, your first kind of line of description is massive dork. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, research-wise, you're very good and you can cook. So you could be our kind of, our chef person. So yeah, we'll hire you. Um, Doddery Den. <laughs> These names are amazing and they all look amazing. Dodgy Ken, the dodgy man. Okay, I like Dodgy Ken. Why is he dressed in a police outfit? I don't know. He doesn't look dodgy. He looks official. He's got police clothing on. Um, Dr. Ed Fredison looks absolutely amazing. Or can we hire you just because you look like that? Hang on, right, staff-wise. So how about we get Boone to not do serving and not do ordering, but you can cook, you can research, and you can do, I don't know what shoeing is, but you can do shoeing, whatever it might be. So we've got nobody set to serving and ordering apart from you. So ordering, you're okay. Serving, you're okay. So how about you don't do those three things. We could do with somebody who's a little bit good at serving. So I think maybe, yeah, if we could find somebody that's half decent at serving. Um, how many people are there? How many people are... <laughs> this is, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, and their name is Tyson. I'm not telling you my blinking surname, you ponce. Okay. <laughs> that's amazing. That is brilliant. Okay, Terry A, not very good at serving. Um, oh, Tarka. Tarka is very good at many things. However, their salary is quite extortionate. Here we go. Here we go. Somebody who's good at serving. So I think, yeah, if we get you on board, your salary is okay and you can go and do the serving. And you're a mime, which is amazing. Okay, yeah, we'll hire you as well. Um, right, okay, so um, you're serving, which is good, and you're ordering. That's fine. Boone is doing the shoeing, cooking, and research, and you can do the serving and possibly the ordering as well. So how about we have two people serving and ordering, and then Boone kind of is, you know, doing all the other stuff. Okay, yeah, that seems fine for now. Also, there is quite a fun option where you can just call your dad if you want, because they gave you all your money. Um, but you can call dad, and you can either say, I want some cash, or you can just have a chat. So there we go, I'm going to have a chat with dad. Hello, dad, it's your favourite snuggle muffin. What's up? Why did the Invisible Man turn down the job offer? 
He couldn't see himself doing it. Okay, Dad. <laughs> okay, so essentially when we call Dad and say what's up, we get an amazing Dad joke. Okay, right. Game of the year so far. Brilliant stuff. Uh, okay, right. There we go. So we've got ourselves some staff on board now, which is very good. I think if we move time on a slight amount, there we go. They will separate. There we go. So I do like as well, the staff have got their little, um, little sort of round hat things on. I don't know if there's a way to sort of uh, change those. It would be nice if we could customise our hats because, you know, I'm all about the hats. Right. Okay, so what do we have to do? So we've got our cafe, but of course we need to actually you know, make it a cafe and put places down for people to sit and they need food and all that kind of stuff. So here we have our first hipster kind of guest and they've popped in. Right, so they've got a thing over the head. So I think they're a little bit alarmed about something. So let's click on you. So you are Colin Mann, but spelt with a K, very good. And these are their needs. So Colin has fun needs and serious needs. Okay, so contrasting kind of demands on things. And your patience is high, but your happiness is quite low because of course there's nothing in here to entertain you right now. Okay, so how about we put in something that's fun and something that's serious? I think, let's try and put things into different zones. So maybe as you come in on the right hand side, so as you're coming in through the doors, let's have kind of fun corner over there. Let's put fun things in. So if we go down to, I think it's furniture, uh, and then here we go. Yeah, all this stuff. So what is going to be fun? So fun has got a little kind of sort of a fun toot horn thing going. There we go. So a pool table is fun. It's got the fun icon on it, which means it will meet the fun need for Colin here. So let's put a pool table in. It's a shame we can't change the colour of that. That would be nice. Um, but yeah, we don't want to put it too far into the corner. So let's put it there. Uh, oh no, it's blue. It's blue. That's okay. That's fine. That's not too bad at all. Um, and then you've got serious needs. So hang on, the only thing that we can have that's meeting a serious need is a Bitcoin machine. Okay, <laughs> right you are. I think let's put the Bitcoin machine right here. So as you come in the room, as you come into the, um, as you come into the cupboard, there is a Bitcoin machine right there. So if you're dashing out the door, you can do your hips thing and just grab some Bitcoin on your way out. There we go. Right, so now that should satisfy your needs. So hopefully you'll go over here and go, ooh, a fun thing to do. And that will meet your fun need and then your serious needs can be met over here. Okay, right, that's very good. And we got, we got left tips. We got left some money. So we just made our first money and our research is complete, which is wonderful. Okay, so we can now serve things on shovels, which is good. Um, okay, how about then we get, hang on, hang on. That new person just came in. Let's have a look at you. Uh, you've got two fun needs. Lulu Hamilton here has got two fun needs that need to be met. Uh, we've got one fun thing there. So possibly we need to go to entertainment and unlock something that's fun. Okay, darts. Darts is apparently fun. It's going to cost $150 to unlock the secrets of darts. Yeah, okay, we'll have that, please. So somebody can get on with that. I don't know where they go to do the research. Hang on. Who does the research? Ah, is that it there? The little sort of uh, pad and pencil type thing. Is that what they're going to do? I'm not entirely sure. You're just kind of circling around this person. You've gone into orbit around them. Right, hang on. You are coming over here to presumably order some food and drink. And we haven't got any of that yet. So, right, hang on a second. Please hold. Let's actually get some food and drink sorted. So, here we go. Oh, no, we have. We've got a whipped kosher bottom bun burger... Okay, musical bottom bun, beef patty and top bun served on a square plate. Bit boring. Or filter coffee, coffee made in a filter. Okay, can we add a new menu item? Right, let's add, let's start with the drink, which is a bit disappointing. But here we go. We'll start with a coffee-based drink. So this is, I mean, that's obviously the coffee. These are the views of our people of this particular drink, of these sort of different kind of categories of hipsters. So um, I don't know what kind of category they are. They look like mimes. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. But anyway, whatever the case, we've only got filter coffee. We haven't got any of the others. So we have to have filter coffee. Uh, there's a blend, however. So what we want to do is move this sort of slider around a bit until they like it a bit more. So at the moment, there's a kind of a, a Jerry non-plus line. Hopefully we want to get that going sort of upwards and changing a little bit. But they are not going for it. Oh no, there we go. They definitely don't like this. Okay, so if we make it very sweet... And very bright. Ah, okay. So the mimes will like this. Right, okay. So can we do it so they can both like this drink? Both of those categories. I don't think we can. Okay. 
These people here, whatever kind of class of hipster they are, are very, very awkward. They're hard to cater for. Um, yeah, okay, never mind, never mind. Right, so it's going to be a very sweet, very bright, very smooth-bodied coffee. Um, and we can now draw a picture on top of it, which is very silly. So um, they want us to draw a dumbbell. Oh, they must be like weightlifty people then, possibly. And they want us to draw a bird. Now, I think possibly, maybe we draw a bird and make sure that the mimes really do like this drink. So here we go. I mean, there are different kind of brush sizes and things and swirliness. Um, so, yeah, we're going to sort of draw on it with, with milk. The other thing is I'm not very good at drawing. So <laughs> I'm going to try and draw a bird, everybody. Um, so, I mean, do we draw it side on? Like a sideways bird? Right, hang on, here we go. I've never drawn a bird on coffee with milk before. So bear with me. So hang on. So it's going to need a beak. So there's a beak, look, and then it can come down like, sort of like that, and then it can have a tail bit, sort of like that, and then it can sort of do like that, and then it can have an eye, and then it can have little bird legs coming out like that. There we go. <laughs> oh, and they, they, they think it's a bird. It's a bird. Okay, yeah, very happy with that. There's our finished coffee with a bird on it, drawn in milk, which is very good. Um, okay, harvested bitter filter coffee. Um, you can name it, but I think I quite like the default names. If something really pops up, then it's fine. Hang on. Um, coffee um, with a bird. There we go. We'll make sure we know what we've drawn on it. So there we go. It's got a bird. So now we have a new type of drink, which is good. So the mimes will like that. Um, and oh, there we go. And the other sort of hipster type, whatever they are, will like the regular filter coffee. But now I think we need to add some food as well. So here we go. Let's make some food and we can serve it on a shovel because of course we're going to serve it on a shovel. There we go. <laughs> so what should we have? And um, we haven't got much to choose from. So I think, um, oh, do you know what? I didn't check actually. Hang on a second. Uh, no, go go back. How do we, how do we come out of this? How do we... I don't know. I don't know how to escape. Can we just escape? There we go. Yeah, recipe not saved. Um, who likes that? Nobody likes that thing at all. Nobody likes the existing burger. Okay, right, fine. Um, so, let's go to here. We'll serve it on the shovel. Um, okay, so... Ah, there, okay, everyone likes the bread slice. The bread slice is popular. Okay, so let's get, let's get a bread slice. And you can sort of twist it round. You can sort of move things about. So let's have a bread slice there. And how about another bread slice <laughs> over here? Okay, that's good. There we go. So at the moment, nobody overly kind of impressed with it. But then maybe to get these folks on board, how about we get um, how about we get a cheese slice and we put? Hang on, hang on. That can go over there because that's very that's very hipster look. There we go. They're still not overly bothered by this. Um, how about another cheese slice? So let's pick that up and put the cheese slice there. They're still not loving this, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, how about we get a cookie? Here we go. Put a cookie on there. Ah, right. That's brought the um, that's brought the mimes up from not liking it to being ambivalent about it. So what if we put another cookie over there um, and then get some asparagus? <laughs> this is brilliant. Put some asparagus on. Anna. They're not liking it at all. They're not loving it. That's not working well. Um, okay, an egg. An egg can go on the cheese. So put egg on the cheese. Yes. I want one of them to at least like it. Can we have eggs on everything? Eggs on the cookies. Eggs on all the things. All the eggs. No, they're not They're not going for that. They're not going for it. Okay, and then cheese in the middle. Come on, this is amazing. And then more cheese. And then more cheese. It's just going to be a tower of cheese until you like it. <laughs> Except the cheese. Except the cheese, hipsters. Um, no, they're, they're not. Do you know what? It, I like it, though. I think it looks amazing. But they're not going for it, which is a bit of a shame. Um... Okay, that hang on, sausages. And then let's just put a sausage on top. They're still not liking it. Good grief. Hang on, can we put it at a jaunty angle? Drop that on. Um, they look like the saddest of all the sausages. Do you know what? That will have to do. And that is amazing. I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. Yes, we'll confirm that. Edible stimulating American cheese comestible. <laughs> yes, that will do. Although they are very, very ambivalent too, which is a shame. Let's make another one quickly. Hang on. Let's try and make something else on a shovel. Right, so the moment they're not loving it. Right, let's just try and get something that they're going to like. So everything that they like. So an egg in the middle, that's good. And then we'll put some sausages on either side, like that. And then cheese slice can go on top of the egg. There we go. 
Right, they don't like asparagus. Um, a bit of bread, though, is okay. Ah, look, they like it now. They like this. So the mimes won't like it, but the, um, whatever these are, do like it. Okay, um, I think, can we add another egg and then another bit of cheese? There we go. I like that. And then just a sausage on the top as well. Splendid. That will do. <laughs> it's all about the presentation. Scrambled, lavish American cheese entree. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now we've got a few menu items. We've got three recipes on the menu. Um, and then we need somewhere for people to sit. Okay, so hang on a minute. Come out of the menu. Um, there is social media, by the way. There is a whole kind of social media thing. Um, I can't remember what they called the uh, the sort of this messaging service. It definitely isn't Twitter. It's not that. It's something else. Um, but yeah, but occasionally some... Yeah, you pick... Hang on, hang on. Let's give this a go. So what you have to do is pick new messages thing here. And then there'll be a load of hashtags that appear. And then if you pick the right hashtags that are popular and then put them up here and then submit your message, then you might get a load of um, a load of followers. Yeah, it looks like at the moment we're called Wife and Overlord, which is fine. I like that. That's OK. But yeah, we're not called that. We're called The Cupboard. OK, so let's have a go at this. So hang on. Do we have to be on pause? So click that. Oh, no new messages. Oh, OK. Do we? I thought we clicked that. OK, we'll come back to this, possibly. That's not doing what I thought it was going to do. Um, however, research is done, which is nice. Um, let's get some more food. Let's get some more food on the go. Um, OK, so how about then? Um, bacon. Oh, hang on. Somebody said they wanted a hot cross bun. That was that was in the demands thing. So, yeah, unlock a hot cross bun, please. There we go. That'll do. So if we could work on that um, and then oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, they're requesting things that we don't have. That's what a little alert is. So yeah, so we'll unlock the secrets of a hot cross bun. There are many, many mimes in here. <laughs> there are many mimes. Um, okay, right. Furniture. Let's get some furniture in. Um, so we've got many tables. We do have some kind of you know, ridiculous chairs. I mean, I quite like the idea of the toilet chairs. The rustic chairs. It's all going to be all over the shop, the way. It's going to be completely higgledy-piggledy and everywhere. So how about we have... I know, some chairs over in this corner, because why not? So let's get a simple rectangular table. Put that there, and then we can have a wooden chair. Just, uh, oh, not there. Uh, oh, okay. Does it not fit there? Uh, ah, right, hang on, hang on a second, hang on. That might be, that might be slightly too near the, uh, might be slightly too near the wall. Uh, let's put it there, then. That'll do. We'll put something else in that corner. Right, back we go. So I want, like, a, a red wooden chair... So there we go. That can go just there. Oh, and we've done a thing. Hooray. Um, so, yeah, we've got three recipes and we aligned a chair to a table. Goers, the word about the new minimalist cafe is spreading. you got seven extra followers on Tutor. That's what it's called. It's called Tutor. So seven followers and two and a half grand. That's very nice. So we'll have a chair like that and then we'll have whatever a panton chair is because I've got no idea. And then we'll have a metal chair. Pop that there. And then we'll have a tyre chair. There we go. Oh, that's that's beautiful. It's it's so hipster. Right, and then decor. Oh, my word. There are so many decorative things. There are so many decorative things. It's 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 beautiful. Oh, wow. There's there's a bajillion. OK, right. Hang on. Um, I mean, there's a unicycle that we can just put on the wall. I'm putting a unicycle on the wall. I don't care about the money. Um, OK, projector camera. That goes on a shelf. Ah, okay, right. Okay, what do we want either side of the door? How about, what's that? I don't know what that is. It's an old camera. Okay, we'll put an old camera. Uh, hang on, just why can't we put it there? It's not letting us put it where I thought we could. Oh, hang on, it's got to go on the side walls, has it? Okay, we'll put that just there. And then what do we want to go next to the unicycle? This is wonderful. <laughs> a medieval sword, of course. There we go, just random tat. Um, oh, the, oh, hang on, you can scroll down. <gasps> There's even more. Oh, it is wonderful. Okay, right, hang on a minute. A bookshelf. Oh, it's massive. Um, okay, I would quite like the bookshelf. Is there space for the bookshelf? No, because the lights are in the way. That's a shame. Oh, can we have a poster that says bacon is the answer? Yeah, we'll have that and then a lamp. There we go. Look, bacon is the answer and an antique looking lamp. Um, and then how about I me? Mean, yeah, can we have a little flower then just there? Can't put things on that wall. Which is a bit of a shame. I don't know why we can't put things on this kind of far wall. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Can we put things outside? Can we put that outside? That's a very hipster thing to have. No, we can't put that outside, which is a shame. Um, okay, how about... Can we put things there? 
Yes, we can put things either side of the menu. Okay, how about we have... I mean, yeah, like a barber pole thing. That's fun. So we'll have one of those. And then how about we have... Our camcorder's massive. That's huge. <gasps> a little a little clock. Yes, there we go. A cuckoo clock. Okay, this is this is wonderful already. I like this. Right, let's get some more um, some more tables and chairs, possibly. Um, we'll get another table. Let's have that one. So we'll put it... And again, we're going to put it where it doesn't make any sense. We'll just pop that like that. Because it, it's got to be all over the place. Oh, I thought that was supposed to be different. No, 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 Cell, that's not different enough. Hang on. A simple rectangular, like that. There you go, that's better. I thought the top was going to be that colour, but okay, never mind. Uh, and then we'll have a yellow metal chair, and we'll have a sandbag chair. <laughs> uh, I know we can't have a sandbag chair, apparently, for some reason. Oh, we can't have that. Maybe it's too low. Maybe the, we have to pick a lower table or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll have that comfy looking chair. That looks okay. Uh, and then we'll have a modern wooden chair. And we'll have a uh, simple wooden chair three. There we go. That looks very nice. And then we'll get a table. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what we could put over here. Just a table for just an individual table like that. Um, and then we'll have a tire chair, which we can't put up against that. That's a bit weird. I don't know why we can't put the tyre chair up against that. Never mind. Um, okay, how about that? That looks comfy. We'll have one of them and we'll have, uh, I don't know, a zigzag chair. Yes, they're amazing. We'll have a zigzag chair, please. Okay, so a number of places for people to go and sit as well. That's very good. Okay, right. Happy with that. Let's uh, let's now uh, yeah, move time on a bit. So we've got one person just at the back not doing anything at all. Can they make the food? Uh, do we have to buy them like a thing to cook with? There's a microscope area. What does that do? Don't know what that does. It gives us one lot of sunglasses and one timery thing. Um, a soft drinks machine. That probably wouldn't wouldn't you know do any harm having that. If we pop that over there. Look, we can have soft drinks. There's the till. Um, there's the pickup point. Um, the mocker master. It looks like that's a mocker master. I'd say that's him. But yeah, microscope area is. I assume they do research there. That might be a research type thing. Okay, we'll put that just there. We already got one. We've already got. We've got two microscopes now. It's fine. Do you know what? Can we sell that microscope? <laughs> I didn't realize that's what was just there. Uh, sell that. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, logistical error. And then a chopping area. Okay, so maybe we might want to get like a bread oven or something. Okay, this is very exciting. Okay, right. Move time on. Let's see how we can get on with everybody else. So. That research is done already. Okay, let's just get the Emmental. Let's get, hang on. Can we queue? I think it said, was it shift? Yeah, there we go. Just research all of the sort of first column of food things, please. Um, and then research the first column of entertainment. And then do the first lot of equipment as well. We're not going to go down the drinks route just yet. I can't bring myself to research coffee because it's not tea and it makes me sad. That person just gave us $194 in tips. Really? Wow, that's very generous. Thank you. Can we give you a hug? That's very nice. Okay, how are we doing with meeting people's needs? I think they're doing okay. I think they're doing okay. Yeah, you've got a... Um, hang on, can we click on you? Yeah, you've got a serious need, but that's okay. 59 in tips from you. That's very good. You've got a fun and a serious need. You're going to have to queue up for the Bitcoin machine, I'm afraid. And there we go. Oh, you've got your laptop out. Okay. <laughs> That's how I work my work laptop. That's amazing. <laughs> Look at that. I do exactly that. And uh, things tend to work out all right in the end. It's fine. There we go. Bish, bash, bash. Very good. <laughs> That's very funny. Okay, right. So now we've got some money coming in. The money's coming in very nicely. Okay, can we have a look at this thing now? So new new messages. Hang on. I thought there was supposed to be a timer or something on here. Um, Hang on. Chips. 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 Yuck. Okay. What's going on there? Again, I don't think we've got a thing on here yet. Apparently there's supposed to be some timer. We have to identify the tags and get the right ones and we get a big boost. But yeah, I can't I can't see how we do that. Okay, never mind. Again, but we'll come back to that. Maybe that'll sort of kick into life at some point. Um yeah, the food menu. Hang on. Hang on. Can we now add on a shovel, of course. Um, can we add oh there's all sorts of things. A hot cross bun. Just drop a hot cross bun in. Um Hot cross bun with boiled eggs. Is that the request? Okay, do you know what? Yep, I'm, I'm on it. On it, people. 
hot cross bun with boiled eggs, and how about a mushroom on the top of the hot cross bun? Beautiful. Oh, it's wonderful. And then, I mean, everyone likes the tomato, so let's put the tomato on top of the egg like that. Okay, <laughs> that's ridiculous. And then just had a bit of asparagus, just pointing at it like that. There we go. That's perfect. Yes, we'll accept that, please. Finalise that. Futuristic, uninventive boiled egg burger. Yeah, sounds amazing. That will do. Um, okay, and then, can we add another menu item? This is very, very good fun. Um, for these guys. Um, because, yeah, have we got anything they'd like? Ah, bacon. Okay, so some bacon with some bacon with some bacon. And then add a bit of bacon to it. Okay, they're not overly impressed. I thought maybe they would like the fact that we gave them loads of bacon. Um, okay, and an egg, because, you know, why wouldn't you? And then supplement that with a piece of cheese on top of those two bits of bacon. Okay, the cheese has fallen over, but that's fine. And then supplement it with another piece of cheese. That's fallen over as well, but it, that's part of the aesthetic of it. They're still not overly impressed with it. Okay, hang on. And then put a tomato in the middle. Okay, now these people like that. Okay, I mean, <laughs> imagine being served this. You're like, what, what is going on? Um, yeah. Okay, yes, finalise that as well. Shade-grown, gluten-free, bacon comestible. Yeah, sounds amazing. Yes, we'll have some of those, please. I think possibly we might want to get another coffee as well because they like that one. Hang on, they like the other one. We've not unlocked the new coffee type yet. So we're going to struggle, really, aren't we? Um, do you know what? It's... It's fine. It's fine. We're not going to do another coffee just yet. We're all about the food. The coffee is yeah, the coffee is adequate, um, but we're all about the exciting kind of meal options, which is very good. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, no, you're one of our staff. You're one of the staff. I thought you were an employee. I thought, oh, you look at uh, no, uh, sorry, customer. But um, but yeah, because you looked a bit different. But no, that's fine. Uh, right. You've come in, Nico Cooper. For what's that? A drink, possibly. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. How are we doing for all of the other things? How are we doing for our um, entertainment options? Ooh, unlock darts, unlock the barber's shop. Okay, right, they're happy with this. There are secret little goal things around the place. Okay, yep, that's fine. Ooh, hang on, you're ordering something. Okay, um, where is it then? So yeah, entertainment items. So what did we unlock? Um, I've got punch game. Okay, so that's kind of like a strength game thing. Okay, that's fine. Well, do you know what? Can we put that next to the uh, <laughs> next to the Bitcoin machine? Okay, and then where were the darts? There's a barber shop. A mil There's a milliner's. Hang on. Pause time for a second. Pause time. Hats. 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 This is the most important thing in the uh, in the cafe at this moment in time. There are hats. We're going to put that there. Everyone can go and have a lovely hat, and that is amazing. This is the corner to be, everybody. Um, and then a barber shop could possibly... Hang on, let's put the barber shop next to the punchy machine. <laughs> there we go. A fun load of nonsense down that end. Um, yeah, quite a lot of serious things. Oh, there's the darts. Okay, okay. So can we put the darts there? The darts can go uh, by the door. So, yeah, it's very hipster. If you come in and somebody's rubbish at darts and you walk through the door, you might get hit in the face by a dart. Which is very hipster. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> we are burning through our cash quite quickly, but do you know what? It's fine. Um, yeah, our people are mostly the customers. Are, I can't click on the customers. Where are you? Um, yeah, your needs have been met as well. You're mostly about the um, the fun and the serious stuff. So we don't necessarily need to spend all our money on the kind of strength stuff because I think it's fun. Oh look, they've got. They've, hang on, the food actually is on the plate. Look. It's actually made. It's not just a generic kind of plate of food. The thing that we designed is here on this kind of shovel thing. Oh, that's very good. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. I just assumed it was a fun thing to, you know, to, to design it whilst you were looking at it. And then go, there you go, that's our food thing. But no, it actually does appear in game. Yeah, that's the, um, that's the cheese with the eggs and then the cheese and the cheese and the cheese and the cheese and the cheese and, the cheese and then some sad sausages. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> You've had to bring that over yourself. Oh, and then it just kind of vanished, but that's okay. Oh, and you've got your laptop out. Okay, right, fine. Um, okay, things seem to be ticking over quite nicely. How are we doing with the whole sort of research thing? We've done all the entertainment stuff, which is good. Um, equipment we're working on. <gasps> There's a tea station. I didn't notice the tea station. Oh, this could revolutionize everything. This could change everything. There is a tea station. 
There's tea in this game. Okay, we were yeah, it's number one. We're working on that right now. We've got all of those things in. Um, okay, right. I think uh, it was shift, wasn't it? So let's research this column of things here now. So what we're going to be unlocking. So a dog bowl. Nice. Eat from a dog bowl. Uh, blue cheese. Delicious. Crumpet. Very nice. Goyoza. I love some goyoza. Um, edamame, is it pronounced? Ketchup. Custard cream. <gasps> we could have custard creams with tea. Oh, this is, it's it's a, a wonderful day. Um, baked beans and then chips slash fries, it possibly should say. Okay, so get all those done. The tea station is unlocked. Oh, this this is this heralds a change of everything. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Pause time for a second. The most important thing we can have is the tea station. Because now, can we make tea? Um, hang on. If we put that just there. So I imagine the tea has to be made by the people behind the counter. I'd guess that's the case. Um, also, can we have another bit of um, another bit of countertop over there and over there? No, we can't have it round there because they can't get round, unfortunately. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, could we put something on there? Uh, what's that? Hang on. Where's where's my tooltips gone? Uh, hang on. Come out. Go back in. What's that? Potato power. Ah, touchscreen till. Looks like we've already got one of those, doesn't it? Yeah, so we've got the tea station, got the soft drinks machine. Ah, multi-screen till. Hang on a second. Sell that. Sell that. Uh, maybe we can't do it because it's in use, possibly. Yeah, it's in use. They're pressing buttons on it right now. Hang on a second. Right, pause. Now, oh, hang on. Why can't we... Uh, maybe we can't not have a till. So maybe if we put that there, then we can sell that till. There we go. Right, you have to have at least one till. That makes perfect sense. Um, and then, how about round here... We put the potato master. Whatever that's doing, I've got no idea. But we have a potato master, potato power thing. But okay, good. It's doing something with potatoes. Not entirely sure. But now, the big question is, can we add a drink? Can it be tea? Because we've got a tea station. Um, No. No, it can't. Oh, that's... Oh, no, I am sad. Now I am sad. I thought it was going to change everything, but no. Unless, hang on, hang on. Is it a thing we have to unlock? Uh, yeah, come out of there. There you go. Yeah, not saved. Is it a thing that we have to uh, unlock or something? Is it in drinks now? No. Maybe that's for the future. Maybe because, you know, it's early access. Maybe they're working on putting in like a sort of a tea range, which would be amazing. Okay, right. What are people asking for? People are asking for something. Um, yeah, okay, food menu. What are you asking for now? If we go into a food item? Uh, nothing, it seems. Maybe they're asking for the new coffee. Oh, maybe we're going to have to bite the bullet and do a and research the coffee stuff. Okay, do you know what? It's fine. Cafe au lait can be the 13th thing in line that we research. And then possibly a latte as well. I'm very tempted to put in a column and then just hang lots of decor off the column for no reason other than I want to put more decor in. So, do you know what? Let's put a column... Just there. Hooray for the column. And now we can have decor. Ah, right, here we go. Hot topic. Right, here we go. New messages. So now we've got a little bit of time to figure out what the um, the popular things are. So Bruno Lawrence is saying June Reed, Tallulah Newton. Hang on, more messages. Um, okay, hang on a minute. So Happy is coming back. Oh, somebody sent that to queue for ages. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Hang on, we've got to look for the hashtags. Got to look for the hashtags. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, hang on. Find out more. Right, happy. I think happy is a, a trending topic. That seems to be quite popular. Happy is a popular thing. No new messages, because happy's there and happy is there. So we'll try and go for the word happy. Uh, hang on a minute. Here we go. Uh, yep, happy is still, is definitely the thing. But then I don't know what other other um, other tag we need to go for. Uh, yeah, the, oh, smile possibly. Hang on. Uh, we need more new messages. Hot take is ticking down. Come on, we need more messages. Um, we got it. Happy is definitely one of the things, but we need another one. We need another hashtag to submit our toot and see if we can you know, make a massive, big kind of super toot that everyone likes and it goes viral or whatever. Um, here we go. And YOLO, YOLO. Okay. Is YOLO going to be the next kind of fancy hot take word thingamajig? Uh, we'll have to wait for more messages to come in, I think. But then, yeah, then we can check. Okay, <laughs> I seriously can't believe you're about to see one message is unreal. Okay, YOLO, happy hat. Yeah, it's going to be YOLO, isn't it? Oh, no, but there's Smile. Smile's just there. Uh, okay, right, hang on a minute. Hang on, we'll have to wait. Um, 
Happy, happy. Okay, right. We'll wait for the next one then. We'll wait for the next one to come in. We are getting a few more followers though. We are doing okay with followers. But yeah, if we get this right, this is going to give us loads of followers. And of course, more people come in and all that kind of stuff. We make more money. Money's coming in very nice. Yeah, it's YOLO, isn't it? Happy and YOLO. Right. Submit that. Um, okay, it's World Smile Day. So that's more work for the animators. Happy and YOLO. Okay, did that work? I don't know. It looks like our followers are creeping up quite nicely. So, okay, I assume we just did a correct social media thing. There we go. Have 100 followers. Kickstarter campaign brings in $3,000. That's why the money's coming in nicely. Um, okay, possibly, possibly we need to get some more staff then. Let's get some more staff in place because people did say they were waiting a long time. So let's go to here. Hire and manage staff. Uh, right, new recruits. Um, let's get... Uh, I mean, we could get you in and you could just do some ordering. That could be your one job. Ordering and shoeing. Okay, pause time for a second. Hang on. So let's get Bella done a nightshade. Uh, FKA? What's the F mean? Uh, maybe also known as Susan Harris. But there you go. <laughs> so we'll get you in. So where's Susan? There. So uh, don't do cooking, don't do research. Do shoeing and ordering. And then I think we need possibly somebody else to do some cooking. Because it's poor chappy on his own doing the cooking at the minute. Although you're very good at serving. You're really good at serving, Wallace. And you look amazing as well. Um, and we could get... <laughs> the, uh, I think we have to get them just because we're a hipster cafe and they look amazing. We're going to hire you... Just because we can. Um, and, uh, yeah, hang on. Somebody that's good at serving. Yes, yeah, so you're good at serving. You're very good at serving. Um, but we need somebody that's good at cooking as well. Oh, you can do serving. You're really good at serving and shoeing. You can do serving and shoeing. And then we need a cook. So who's going to come in and do some cooking for us? Um, you. <gasps> oh, my goodness me. You're called Rand and you're dressed like a Star Trek person. Okay, total nerd, excited by people talking about HTML. Waste of time playing a simulator game where he runs a pretend restaurant. Ah, oh, God, what a loser. Uh, neat freaking soup, helpful, like a total lame-o. Okay, <laughs> do you know what? That's fine. We'll go for that. Oh, there's so many people. There are so many. Ah, oh. <laughs> you look amazing as well. Okay. Oh, there's not at all gentle Ben. There's an animal in the cafe. Run, slow them if you're alive. If they're there at the end of this, we're just going to put them in and see what happens. Because that just looks suitably bonkers. Right, hang on. Staff. Let's make sure that people are doing the right things. You're serving and ordering. Um, you're shooing, cooking and researching. You're serving and ordering. You're shooing and ordering. Right. You can do ordering. And possibly a spot of research, maybe? Yeah, like that. You can do ordering and research. That's fine. Um, you don't do ordering. You can do serving and shooing. And then you can do cooking and research. There we go. So we've got a good range of people now in the cafe, in the cupboard, doing all sorts of bits and bobs. Okay, wonderful. And they all just kind of beam in, you know, because of Star Trek guy. Okay, look, and there's the person. There's Lord Buckethead. But on top of their head, they do have their little hat on, which is very good. Right, why are you sad? Because you wanted whatever that... I can't see what that is. That needs to be bigger. I have a tooltip or something. I can't see what that is. Um... Maybe it's time that we made a different food item. Oh, hang on. Customer loves your bean patties, but thinks your chef can turn to next level. Dare you send them on this meaty vision quest? I, hang on. Bean. Beans. There's no meat there. Yeah, whatever. Let's do that thing that you just said there. Um, okay, right. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What was that? Uh, the cafe R&D team thinks outside the box. Combing the quarter pounder with another quarter pounder. That's making a half pounder. Okay. Objectives. Be, oh, hang on. Something went mainstream and is no longer cool. A new hipster faction. Oh, <laughs> a new hipster faction have come in. So mimes are no longer cool. So nobody wants to be a mime anymore because everyone's a mime. And that's just not hipster. And now they've gone into like Star Trek. Okay, <laughs> this is brilliant. Right, objectives. Beef patty on the menu. And we get a load of stuff. Okay, yep, we can do that. Have we unlocked that? Is that a thing that we've unlocked? Um, uh, I don't think it, oh yeah beef patty yeah okay right yeah let's add it to the menu let's make some sort of ridiculous burger type construction on a shovel please um okay so we'll have uh hang on on a cookie serve it on a cookie oh what are the star trek people like okay so we're going to serve this on a cookie and we're going to have a patty on the cookie okay hang on do they like that do they like the bottom but yeah they don't like the patty though okay hang on we might need to change our um our ideas here okay right, hang on right and do that so they like the cookie. 
So that's fine. And they like that. So let's put a piece of Emmental on top of the cookie. Okay, people are they're okay with this so far. And then a piece of egg on top of that. This is this is beautiful. This is a work of art. Can we find anything else I'd like? Okay, a tomato on top of that. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> Hot cross bun on top of that. Please remain intact. Oh, hang on. They like that. They like that, apparently. Okay, that's a surprise, but okie doke. Um, yeah, so I can't see what those things are. This is a good, that looks like a bun. It looks like a bun. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, I'm surprised that they like that. And then can we put... Can we put a thing that the Star Trek people will like? Can we add that? Can we add a piece of cheese onto the top? Uh, yeah, look at that. It's going to be the universally popular Mega Tower. Yeah, okay, we'll finish that. Golden Hidden Cross... A Hot Cross Bun Burger <laughs> Tower. Needs to have the word tower on it. Tower. 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 Yes. Accept that. Okay, so I think that should complete our goal. Because now we've got that thing on the menu. <laughs> That's suitably ridiculous. Right, hang on, we we're putting decor on this thing. I got distracted. Right, a wall lantern. Oh, can't go on the beams. What's the point of the beams then? Oh, that was kind of my entire goal of just putting things hanging off of there. Uh, oh, do you know what? I want one of them though. A massive pride flag. That's beautiful. There we go. Um, okay, right, oriental fans. We've got a map. Yeah, can we have an old map? Oh, it doesn't quite fit. That's huge. Uh, okay, uh, hang on, a surfboard. Hang on, we've got Star Trek people coming in. Is there anything a little bit sort of Star Trek-y? Is there anything sort of uh, sort of spacey looking here? What's that? An early phone. I don't know. Put one of those in because why not? Um, yeah, I can't say anything that looks Star Trek it sort of esque, which is a bit of a shame. But okay, do you know what? It's fine. Let's put a bicycle on the wall as well because what? There we go. <laughs> I love all the random items. Do we need more places for people to sit? Possibly. Also, what do you like? Hang on. What's your thing? Uh, ah, you want music. You have music needs. I don't think we're meeting any music needs right now. So what have we got? We've got DJ decks. Yeah, okay. They sound suitably terrible. Let's put that near that pillar. Pop the DJ decks around that side and you can do some DJing. And then a recording booth. Oh, hang on. Can we pop that next to the decks? There we go, look. So you can do some recording and... Oh, hang on. How do you get in? Okay, I don't know where the door is. I'm not sure that's going to work. We'll see. We'll check with Kai Turn here if that's going to work. Are you going to go to the booth? Yes, you are. Oh, it's this. Oh, yeah, it says on air on the thing. Okay. So you're going to go and do some recording in the recording booth. And that met both of your needs in one hit. Okay, that's wonderful. That is very good. Okay, that worked quite nicely. Um, right, research-wise, we're getting through all of these. We've got the custard creams on the way. This is brilliant. Um... Not enough tills. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Hang on. We'll have another till. Multi-screen till, please. Um, yeah, rotate it around. Just there we'll do. Right, two tills. So we can have two people taking orders. Oh, there's a big queue. There's a big old queue of people now. Um, okay, can we have another multi-screen till just there? We can have three people taking orders. There we go. Um, and then what have we got down here? We are lacking... What's that? We're lacking drinks which are citrusy and dark and... I don't know what that is. Smooth-bodied, possibly? Okay, how are we doing with the whole drink research? Have we got down there yet? No, we haven't. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting there, so I think we need to put chips on the menu, because that's one of the things that we're being told about. But then the other stuff seems to be coffee-based sort of uh, requests. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's run time on a bit. And let's see what we can do with all the sort of research stuff when it's actually unlocked. Okay, apparently there's another hot take thing over on Twitter. Let's see if we can find out what the hashtags are. So we've got booze is a hashtag. Um, oh, look. Is that a little picture from inside our place? It is. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. That's a picture that somebody has taken of the inside of the cupboard. Oh, that's fabulous. Okay, right. So hot is also a thing. Okay, right, so let's look at these messages here. So a load of new messages. It's another sort of picture of somebody else. I mean, it's a slightly risque picture of somebody else, possibly, but there we go. Uh, fun. Uh, cafe. Oh, these are all over the place. Fun is definitely one. Yeah, there you go. So fun is one of our things. Ah, the research is done. Okay, hang on a minute. So we've unlocked the fun thing. Right, hang on a minute. Uh, fun and cafe. It's got to be fun and cafe because they popped up a few times. So let's give that a go, shall we? Um, Ray Webster's Collector's Caf XE9 in Myrtle Beach at Hayes Craig. Can you give a recommendation or two for Mount 
Ple pleasant hashtag cafe. Uh, we're just spouting gibberish. We're just spouting gibberish. Let's give ourselves a like. There we go. But we have got over 403 followers, which is very good. And um, yeah, I think our research is done. Okay, right, hang on. Pause time for a second. What do we want to do now? I think we're meeting people's needs by the look of it. Yeah, so let's have a look at the food stuff that we're not apparently doing. Um, oh, it's like cakes and whatever that big... Is that sweet corn? Possibly sweet corn. Hang on a minute. Go back to food. Um, yeah, so we'll research corn. And then there was like a cake. So, oh, Stilton. It's Stilton. It looks like a cake, but okay, that's fine. Um, we'll get that done. In fact, you know what? Get all of those done. Research a massive load of food stuff. That would be good. And then in terms of entertainment, yeah. Get those unlocked as well. Get all of those things revealed to us, please. Um, yeah, okay, that will do the job. So now let's go back and make some more food. Um, yeah, so people want... Hang on. So people are still wanting the fries, I think. So let's have a look. Oh, no, it's changed. People no longer bothered about that. Let's serve some stuff in a dog bowl, because why not? How about just chip? Just one chip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, this is becoming very hipster. Who likes that? The These people. Okay, so three chips. What else do they like? Um, they like bacon. So let's try and put a slice of bacon across the top of the three chips. Uh, and then uh, we'll put... Uh, what else do they like? Uh, well, ketchup. I mean, everyone likes, everyone likes the ketchup. So we'll just put some ketchup on like that. There you go. Just some ketchup. Splendid. <laughs> Ah, dear. And um, and then another chip can go on the top, but but sort of sideways. So there you go, like, like that. I'm not sure if that's worked or not, but okay. Um, and then we can just put a, a, a burger thing on the top. There we go. Look, they like it. It's brilliant. Yes, we'll go for that, please. Absolutely. Strained complex chips chat. Yep, cracking. Do that, please. And then it's all about the drinks, isn't it? We need to do some different drinks going on. So here we go. So yeah, we've got requests for whatever that one is. I don't know what that is. What's that? Oh, what are all these? Is that a latte? So a latte, which is sweet and bright and that one. Okay. Nobody's going to like that, but lots of requests have come in for that kind of thing. So can we make it so any of them really like those? Ah, like that. There we go. Um, they wanted to draw a moon. Okay. Let's do a big splodge like this. So if we just go like that and just sort of go round, <laughs> I mean, to me, that looks like a moon. I would say that looks like a moon. I've drawn a moon, dudes. Come on. <laughs> it's clearly a moon. It's the most, it's, the moon is big and round effectively. And I've drawn a big round thing. There we go. I mean, it's a bit off shape now. It's fine. But is it a basketball? It's it's clearly the moon. I, I couldn't draw anything moonier than this. It's fine. We'll just finalize it. There you go. <laughs> we'll go for that. Um, and then what else are people after? Whatever that little cup thing is. What's that? Um, Cafe au lait, possibly. So more requests coming in for it being sweeter, lighter, and smooth-bodied. Okay, so hang on. Can we make it so that anybody likes this? Yeah, like that. The Star Trek people are going to love this. Um, again, they, it says draw a moon. Do you know what? We're going to draw a moon, but we're going to do it differently. We're going to draw it with a thin line like this maybe the big line didn't work so if we just sort of draw a circle and go there you go it's the moon is it meant to be a sun it looks a bit like a circle i mean i i, I want to know your thoughts on the moon because i don't know what how to <laughs> i don't know how to oh there you go clearly it's the moon now <laughs> what yes Except, brilliant, we'll have one of those as well. This is wonderful. Right, okay, unpause time. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and that person's very happy with life right now. That's very good. Okay, right, plenty of stuff going on. Now they want corn, just corn and the, yeah, what was that, the Stilton. I mean, if we could combine the two, that would be spectacular. Okay, so just to pass the time, I've made this wonderful, wonderful creation here that I would absolutely 100% order if it were actually in a real place. I would order this without any hesitation whatsoever. So we've got two towers of custard creams, and then on top of the custard creams, we've got a cookie, and then we've got a bourbon in the middle, then at the back, we've got a hot cross bun, and then on the top of the hot cross bun, you can't see the third one, but there are three custard creams on there in a little sort of pile, but the pile did fall over a bit. I think that looks very good. That with some 
tea would be amazing. Also, can we just say that this game is doing things right with regard to biscuits? So we've had a few kind of uh, a few biscuit related kind of uh, discussions on the channel recently, mainly due to the Guild 3 and the Biscuits dynasty. And um, yeah, quite a few people around the world saying, do you know what? No, this is not biscuits. These are not biscuits at all. These are cookies. And it's a bit, no, these are not cookies. A Bourbon is not a cookie and a Custard Cream is not a cookie. This game is doing it right. That's a Bourbon biscuit. That's a Custard Cream biscuit. And these are cookies. So if you went to a shop, people that say all oh, these are cookies, and you said, oh, get me a cookie, what what do you buy? If that's a cookie and that's a cookie and that's a cookie, what? how do you know what you're ordering? It doesn't make any sense. That's a cookie, that's a custard cream biscuit, that's a bourbon biscuit. This game is doing it right. Well done, game. Fabulous stuff. Good biscuitage. Um, yeah, we're going to go for that. It's not really kind of uh, sort of capture the imaginations of our hipsters. I thought that would absolutely do that. I mean, yeah, it should. All the things are set up for the um, for the Star Trek people. They should like that, but they don't. But okay, do you know what? It's fine. Yes, we'll sort of finalise that. Um, fried depressed custard cream burger. No, let's call it custard cream um, pile. There we go. Custard cream pile. Yeah, absolutely. We'll go for that. And also, uh, oh, oh, hang on. Can we only have so many things on our menu? Ah, we can only have so many things. Right, let's remove that thing. Because does anybody even like that? Um, no, people don't like that one anymore. So let's get rid of that one. Filter coffee people do like that's popular. All right. So the first thing that we made isn't popular anymore. So get rid of that. Oh, so you have to keep kind of on top of things. You have to keep changing things. Right, nobody likes that anymore. Ah, this is good. Oh, I like this. That makes a change. Um, and the custard cream pile people aren't overly fond of, but we're going to go for it anyway. Um... Okay, so hang on, hang on. So let's put something in a dog bowl, because why not? Um, I kind of want to make like a an English breakfast. So let's have some baked beans. Just splodge some... Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I don't want those baked beans. That was very unpleasant. Okay, we'll put an egg in. We're going to make like a proper sort of full English type thing, but in a dog bowl. Uh, and yeah, we'll have a bit of tomato on the side. Right, sausages, very important for a full English. There you go, a couple of sausages. Um, and then we'll have... Uh, where is it? Uh, bacon, there we go. Very important. Got to have the bacon. Put the bacon in. There we go. Um, I think that's all we can have. I suppose you could have mushrooms. It depends what we do with them, but you could put some mushrooms on a um, on a full English. That's quite nice. There are many other things that aren't on this at the minute, but yeah, that will do for now, I think. And a bit of a splodge of ketchup, sort of, I don't know, over there-ish and round here. That'll do. That'll do. You can dip into that. There we go. Nobody really likes it, but it's fine because I'm going to put it there. Bitter lush champignon platter. No, we're going to call it... Oh, hang on. Let's do it in caps. Full English um, deliciousness. There we go. Full English deliciousness. Splendid. Let's see if anybody buys that. Oh, it's all shouty in caps. Okay, never mind. Right. Let's see if anybody goes to that. I like the fact there's Star Trek people wondering about... Okay, right, let's run time on, see what happens. Okay, we've researched corn, which is very handy. So I think let's do something very hipstery. Lots of people keep asking for corn. How about we just get ourselves... I mean, I'm tempted to go back to a square plate for this because this is going to be really kind of basic. How about we get corn and we put it there and that's kind of it. That's very hipster. And we just call it corn. I like that idea. That's ridiculous. Indulgent licked corn board. Yeah, perfect. Needed presented corn served on a square plate. Yes, <laughs> It's just one piece of corn on a board for $16. It's perfect. It's, it's yeah, absolutely amazing hipster stuff right there. That is precisely what we're talking about with all that. Um, and they want crumpets and goyozas and everything else. Crikey. We need a bigger menu. We need to have more stuff. Oh, we have got 500 followers. And Ko-Fi Donations, that's like a tipping service, isn't it? Uh, brings in 3,000 monies. Our money is looking wonderful. Our money is looking very, very good right now. Um, do you know what? Let's get some more places to sit. Let's get some more furniture in. Oh, hang on. Did I not scroll down to look at these? Because these are absolutely sensational. Um, okay. Oh, there's... You can sit on, like, drawers and books and think this is amazing. Okay, right. Hang on a minute. <laughs> we need to have one of those. Let's get... Um, a simple... Hang on. We've got, we haven't got a round table. So a simple round table. We'll put that just there. And then, can we have some of these ridiculous chairs? Like a can chair. Um, no. Why can't we have the can chair? I want to have the can chair. Okay, how about whatever that is? Can we have one of those? Uh, no. Why can't they go round that table? Oh, this is a bit unfortunate. A book chair? 
They can't go round that table. Can the big ones go round it? Yeah, okay. Oh, we've unlocked all sorts of stuff. Oh, no, it's objectives. The hipsters are looking forward to some exciting new dishes. I think we've unlocked all that. Oh, no, huzzah. Yeah, we've done it, I think. Hooray, we did a thing. Okay, that's good. That person needs more fun. There's a hot topic on Tutor. Oh, my goodness me, stuff's happening. Um, yep, somebody wants a mission or something. I didn't even read what that was. We have a new hipster faction. Okay, I don't even know who's coming in now. Hang on, pause time for a second. Pause time. <laughs> I'm trying to get a table set up. That table's not working. Away with that table. It's a rubbish table. Um, okay. Can we have... I mean, could we have along the wall here just some just some random chairs? Just a, like a newspaper chair and a can chair and a canister chair. Just a variety of little chairs. Right, and then can we have... Uh, hang on. So I don't understand why the... Oh, there's a toilet chair. <laughs> okay, so a big round table like that so can we have toilet chairs yes we can we can have a toilet chair and a toilet chair because why wouldn't you want that but then yeah can we have the sandbag chairs no maybe they just can't maybe we have to research a low table or something i don't really know um okay a child's chair because that's fun and uh a banqueting chair oh that's very extravagant yeah there we go Wonderful. So a new a new sort of table and we've got some little sort of individual places to sit at as well. If you don't want to sit with anybody, you can sit along here on these wonderfully daft seats. Okay, I think the different type of hipster is in. Okay, so what are you after? What's going on with you? So Adley Cross wants retro needs. Okay, so you're a retro hipster. Okay, so I think to finish things off, let's just put some retro things in, shall we? Let's have a look at entertainment. What have we got that is a bit retro? An arcade machine. Let's work on that instead. Let's focus on that, please. Because I don't know if we have anything overly retro right now. I don't think we do. There's nothing at all that's retro. So yeah, if we could get that done, and then at least the um, at least the retro lovers can go in, you know, play on the arcade machine, and it will give them a little bit of sort of you know, retro joy from that. So there we go. That might take a while. Oh, and we've got the hot take thing, haven't we? Hang on a minute. I forgot about that. Um, feed feed looks looks popular because that keeps coming up everywhere. And sleep when I'm dead. Hang on, is, does, does that come up? Uh, no, can't click on that one for some reason. Feed feed is definitely one. Yeah, sleep when I'm sleep when I'm dead is not coming up as a thing. Um, okay, I can't do that one. Hang on. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh my goodness me! So I can't click on that one. Hang on. Sleep. Oh, that's not one apparently. Okay, fine. It must be it must be something else. I don't know what it is, but it must be something else. Feed feed, and another one. Tired possibly. Tired's come, yeah, tired is that, isn't it? It's feed, feed, and tired. Submit that, and we've just tweeted out a load of old gibberish. Okay, wonderful. And we've done whatever this was. Okay, good. We did a thing. Oh, hang on. Cyberpunk's boost. Oh, hang on. So we've now got a boost. Okay, right, hang on. All the all the retro people are, are pulling their retro hair out because they haven't got retro things to play with. Can we work on this really quickly, please? Let's move time on nice and quick. It's finished. It's finished, right. Hang on a second. Wait there, retro people. We're going to get you your arcade machine. We're going to put it there. There we go. Right. Form an orderly queue, people, because I don't want a big riot over the arcade machine. Do you know what? Because I love you guys. Because you're retro and you're fun. Have two of them. There you go. Look, there's two of them. You can now go and play twice. And there we go. Already, it's paying that back. 76 money we got in tips from that. Did that person just punch that? <laughs> Don't punch it. And we got a load of money. Okay, more followers. Do you know what? With that done, I think we will finish things up for now with Hipster Cafe. But this is very good fun. It's very, very silly and very daft. I do like the fact that it's constantly changing. So you don't just sort of you know, set everything up and then sit back and watch because your hipster types change and they have different things they like and dislike on the menu. And then you unlock new things and you know sort of that changes what you can put into your food things. And you have to keep sort of you have to keep sort of changing and revising things all the time, which I do like. I think that's very good. It keeps you on your toes rather than just sort of you know building everything and then sitting back and going, right, I'm done. You have to keep sort of revising things, which is quite good. Um, and as well, it looks wonderful. The amount of things there are. The amount of decorative items and things you unlock and food options and everything else. There's just so much stuff. There's just so much stuff to unlock in the game. So, yeah, it's wonderful. It's a lot of fun and it's very silly and it's very tongue-in-cheek and very light-hearted. And there's some people using a keyboard on a laptop like you're supposed to. There you go. 
just you know <laughs> flap at the keys and hope something good happens that's what i do um so yeah it's it's wonderful it's really really enjoyable it looks very nice it's just very daft it's very daft and very silly and very light-hearted and i like it it's been a lot of fun but yeah we'll finish up with it for now i think um yeah we've had a very very good look at it and we've sort of seen how it all works and all that kind of stuff so uh so yeah we will wrap things up for the moment with hipster cafe hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time <laughs>